Welcome back. Let's get started with the syntax of HTML element. HTML looks like this. In this case, P stands for paragraph. We make this HTML by starting out with a less than symbol, followed by the correct letter, abbreviation, or word, and then finish it with a greater than symbol. This makes what we call an HTML tag. All HTML markup looks like this, and the syntax itself is quite simple. But the major part is knowing which tags to use and when to use them. We have just two kind of tags, which is the opening and closing tag. This is an opening tag, while the closing tag has a slash. So to mark up any paragraph properly, we use an opening tag at the beginning of the paragraph, while the content goes in the middle, then a closing tag at the end. The whole thing is called an element. Mind you, not every element has a closing tag. We will get there later. But most of Hotmail element has both opening and closing tag. Here are some other examples. There's a paragraph wrapped in P tags. We wrap headline in H1 tags. An article is wrapped in article tag. We will be going through a lot of HTML elements in this course and as we'll learn when to use each one. But one step at a time, just understand the basics for now. Let's take a look at another example. Here we have a very short paragraph. The real secret of how to design papers and artworks. The paragraph is wrapped in opening and closing P tags and then, inside the paragraph, there is another phrase, how to design, that is emphasized, which is made into another element by wrapping it in opening and closing EM tags. Before I explain the EM element, I want you to take a look at how HTML element can be nested inside another. In fact, an entire HTML document is a whole bunch of HTML elements all nested inside each other. The browser pays more attention to the structure of how HTML elements are nested. Your choice of HTML elements affects the experience of users on your website. It all starts with properly nesting all HTML elements. Let me give us a more practical example of how HTML is nested. We can see the opening tag for the article at the beginning, then inside is a headline followed by three paragraphs, where the last paragraph has a phrase of emphasized text inside. And the whole thing at the end is closed with a closing article tag. This structure tells the browser that this article is made up of one headline and three paragraphs. It matters where we open and close our HTML tags and how we nest elements inside of each other. One of the easiest mistakes to make in HTML is to forget to put the closing tag at the end of element. So, do not forget to include closing tags at the end of elements. Now let's look at the paragraph elements in action. I have three paragraphs of text here. I know you might be confused of where I am. This is a website called CodePen, where anyone can quickly make an experiment or demo by typing HTML, CSS, or JavaScript into these panes, and you will see result on the other part of the page. You can surf around for coding.io, then mess around it. Just do something and mess around it. It is free. So I've got an HTML window on my left and window for result on the right. This don't look like paragraph, the browser is displaying my three paragraphs as one. So yes, we need to mark up the paragraph so the browser knows what they are. Right here I will add an opening P tag, and at the end, the closing tag. Now the browser recognizes the first paragraph, will as well wrap the next two paragraphs in a paragraph element as well. Now we have got HTML describing content for the browser. The browser knows that these are paragraph because we told it so. The M tag is to make emphasis on a particular word or phrase. Let's try it. Do you see that? Now let us assume the first paragraph here is the heading. Let us add the heading tag.
Can you see the heading is now clear? How about when we want to list an item? Yule is the tag for ordered list and is the tag used to list. It will be nested in the UL tag. Take a look at it. How about if we want to number it? All is the tag for ordered list. This is it. Do we get that? Now, get into the site, play around it, search for more tags online, make use of them practically. In the next video, we will move to more complex tags usage like images, URL, and more. You must have gained a lot from this class if you are focused. Thanks for watching. Do not forget to subscribe to our platform and stay tuned.